welcome to a new Sam's Outlook video and I hope you're doing okay. I'm very excited to do a new video for you um, and as you can tell already I'm vlogging and this is the first ever vlog video I've ever done for Sam's Outlook's channel um, so if I make any mistakes I'm really sorry. <laughs> I've never vlogged before this is new to me but basically I've become obsessed recently with watching flat tour videos of flats in London um, and flats in New York and basically any apartments across the world right so I live in a flat in London myself and this has been a video that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. I put it off because I haven't really fully decorated my flat. It's still three quarters of the way there and I always was like, I'm gonna get it finished and then do it, but there's no time like the present and I really wanna do this video, so this is what we're getting. Um, so if it looks unfurnished, I'm sorry, but we got it unfurnished to begin with. It's been a work in progress and I've been here for four years now. I'm gonna show you the progress and stuff that we've made so far and hopefully you'll like it. I live in a two bedroom um, in zone three um, and it's a very well connected zone three and I think it's estimated to be around 500 to 600K at least. Um, so I think um, because it's a new build and it's in a very up and coming area, it's still sort of a similar price range to what you would get in central London as well. And it's pretty big for um, the space um, that it's, it's basically a really big flat essentially. And um, so I wanna walk you through, I'm gonna show you all the different types of rooms and how we've decorated it because you have seen a few bits of it here and there on my Instagram or on my um, YouTube videos. So I wanted to do a walkthrough tour and show all the individual different bits and pieces of how each room's decorated uh, and also the spaces that we have around here. Um, it'll be a vlog style video, um, so apologies if I don't uh, do it properly. I've never done a vlog before, so this is my first one. Um, and so yeah, I'm really excited to show all of you around and uh, we'll start the flat tour now. Okay, so I'm in the hallway. Um, this is immediately what you see when you walk in through the front door. But yeah, so when you come through in the hallway, um, it's not very well lit in the hallway um, unless you have obviously all the lights on. So we're in the afternoon right now, but I've had to turn the lights on uh, to keep it lit up. Uh, but basically the first thing that sort of I like about um, this flat immediately that I want to draw your attention to is the floors. So if you can see, um, it is all beechwood flooring. And I think that's something that I really like in um, flats. So in London, one of the big things that I noticed when I was going on flat tours is that a lot of the flooring in loads, loads of flats are really cheap and really dark wood colouring and it just doesn't go with the furnishings. It's really hard to decorate um, dark wood floors, I think, um, especially if you want to go for a minimal clean looking vibe. Um, dark wood flooring just doesn't really help. Um, unless you cover it with like a rug or something. So the fact that this place has got hardwood, beach flooring, that is good quality and doesn't look cheap and doesn't look worn out was really, really a good thing for me. So that's why um, I knew that I liked this flat. One of the reasons I knew I liked this flat immediately. But then yeah, as you go um, through uh, the flat, you can see that it goes into a central hallway and then it goes up into um, two separate, well, three separate rooms. So you've got one room there, one room there, and then one room there. I don't even know if I'm pointing correctly because of the camera angle. But yeah, so one thing I wanna show you um, is this mirror. So if you can see there, this is a big circular mirror that we got from Ikea. Um, we want to eventually have a console table here um, and then be able to decorate some books and some flowers and have a little obviously hold apart for our keys and stuff um, and a, a little ideally one with a, um, a sort of ledge on the bottom as well that you can sort of have more storage on um, but yeah so that's what we want to go here maybe a candle or two um, to make to fill, just to fill up this space so it isn't as echoey um, as you can tell so yeah this is the big mirror which we got from Ikea um, and yeah it's really nice I think it was about £75 um, but yeah, so it goes, I think it's nice and brown, it goes with the, the sort of furnishings as well. So this is the, this is the sort of storage room cupboard, and as you can see, we've got a lot of junk in here. Probably don't want to see all of that, but there you go. You've got, this came with a washing machine, so that was good. Um, and it came in with built-in Wi-Fi, which you can see there. So that was decent, which we're very happy about. And then you go right into the living room. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna ignore this situation, okay? We're not gonna talk about that just yet, all right? That does not exist for now. But here we have the living room. It is an open plan 
living room. So we have the kitchen area over here, and then it is a big open plan space that goes into the living area. So we've obviously divided it into living area, dining area, well, we're gonna go that, and then kitchen. And so I'm gonna walk you through each individual piece of furniture in here. As you can see, what we've gone for is a more minimal with warm tones kind of vibe. And it wouldn't be a millennial flat or a Gen Z flat without some plants um, dotted around. So I think that one's real and that one's a fake one from Ikea that we got. So the sofa is a made.com sofa. It is a bluish kind of gray. It's very hard to find anything that matches this sofa color, but it is, I think, dark navy, but also borderline gray. Um, it's a made.com sofa and we actually managed to find this one on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it was uh, advertised um, to be collected somewhere in London. And so we ended up going and picking it up and got it for an absolute bargain, 200 pounds. And we <laughs> had a whole uh, Ross situation of trying to get it to pivot up the staircase to fit through that door and then get into here because it was fully assembled. And so we've decorated it with H&M pillows. Um, we've gone for a cream kind of vibe and that matches the H&M home rug that we've also got here as well um, as well and above the sofa you've got the um, sort of gallery wall that we've tried to do um, it isn't completely finished yet as you can see that photo frame is still empty um, but we've gone for warmer tones um, and not just keeping everything black and white like you can see there um, and we want to obviously make that a bit bigger but for now we've just gone for that um, but it should hopefully expand or we might get some different photos to go into there and we have here a coffee table from Wayfair, um, which is also quite slimline and fits this area perfectly. Decorated with a none other than Tom Ford coffee table book, which I'm really thankful for. It was a gift and um, so yeah, inside is just loads of different types of like photos and stuff, which are really cool. Um, so yeah, oh, that one's really nice. Oh, look at her, yes, Melanin Queen. Oh, another Melanin Queen, yes. Oh, okay, that's a bit not NSFW, no. Nope. <laughs> But yeah, so that's basically that. And then um, here we have the TV stand, which um, as you can see is actually two TV stands put together to make one big one. So this was Chris's idea, my flatmate. He saw this on Pinterest where we got these two separate um, TV stands and basically as you can see together we've put them together um, because they sort of perfectly fit along the wall to create this one long TV stand um, and it looks pretty cool and slimline. And we wanted to fill all of the gaps there with books, ideally. We want it to look like a library of books going along um, with all the pages on the front showing outwards, but uh, we haven't got enough books just yet. So for the moment, uh, our gay asses have decorated it with Vogue magazines and lots of fashion books. As you can see, you've got a little Chanel book there as well. Uh, and so, yeah. And we often put like flowers on the side here and you've got some candles as well. Um, some candle holders there too. Um, got the mirror on the side, a big slimline mirror, which we want to eventually replace with um, a massive mirror on this uh, wall to fill up the space a little bit more and make the room a little bit, uh, make the room look a little bit more bigger. And um, so that's going to happen at some point. And I think that's pretty much it about the living room. Um, other than, uh, what do you reckon we should name the plants? So this is, uh, should we call it Barbara? Barbara the plant, looking fine as hell in her glory. And one good thing about this living room is that uh, it has this nice patio door, which is a ceiling to floor almost, and it brings in a lot of light in here, which isn't good in the summer. So in days like today when it's really hot in the UK, it actually gets so warm in here because the sun shines directly through here about like four or five o'clock and it's actually boiling. But as you can see, this goes out on to a huge, huge balcony, which is probably why we pay what we do in rent. And as you can see, we've got no decor on the balcony just yet. Um, and it overlooks a courtyard of other buildings. So my building doesn't look like that decor. It doesn't look that colorful. Um, it's much more uh, neutral than that. But this balcony, as you can see already, People drop stuff on this all the time. So we've had a football. And the other day, somebody vomited 
here in this area and I made them come downstairs and clean it up which is mad uh, and we've had fireworks and we've had pigeon poo and we've had all sorts drop on this balcony uh, but this is a space that we have and we want to get it furnished eventually but the weather unfortunately isn't like this all the time in the UK so it's a bit um, missing touch and go here um, for that dining table we're not going to talk about it's just even horrible even looking at it but it's just what we could do for now we're going to skip that we're going to skip that and boom kitchen <laughs> We got the kitchen. The annoying thing about this kitchen is that it has a lack of space. That's something that only bothers me, um, is that you don't have enough surface, as you can see. Uh, so ideally, I would love an island in the middle here to take up this space, but you know, we don't, we don't um, own the place, so we only rent it, so that's probably not a good idea. Uh, but yeah, so we've got some books here, some cooking books, uh, and we've got the coffee machine, which I use every morning. Uh, I wouldn't live, uh, wouldn't, life wouldn't be the same without this little, little gadget here. And so yeah, it's a, Obviously a sink that's uh, built into the surface, which I'm very happy about. Um, but yeah, I wish, really wish there was more workshop space for cooking food because it can get really cramped there, especially when there's two of us cooking. Um, and yeah, so you've got loads of drawer space and we have a built-in oven as well. And then you've got the fridge here, um, built-in fridge and built-in freezer at the bottom as well with lots of space there too. So that's pretty much the kitchen. We want to get a little shelf here that we can put loads of uh, hang pots and pans on the wall there from, um, which should be able to give us some space um, in the cupboards to be free. Uh, but yeah, so the way we've organized our cupboards here is like that, we've stacked it with black plates and white plates. And then also they don't slam, which is something I love as well. And then you've got the glasses there as well, which are really cool. Not gonna show you the food because that's a bit messy. All right, that's living room. As we walk through here, you have access to the other rooms in the uh, apartment. This is my flatmate's room, and obviously we're not gonna go in there. Protected privacy, but then this is my room. Welcome to my room, y'all. Um, this is where the magic doesn't happen, uh, because I'm single as hell. Uh, but the first thing you'll notice about this room when you walk in is the amazing closet that I have. It's a big mirror uh, which goes from the ceiling to the floor and I've got two sides to my wardrobe basically uh, as you would expect from somebody that stress well. Um, <laughs> basically I'd love to do a closet tour and show you guys what I've got but that's going to be a completely separate video but for now I can show you how it's organized very quickly. Um, it's not the best organized right now but I have all the blacks on this side and then all the colors on that side. As you can see, it goes from blue through to the beiges, to the whites and the greens. But yeah, that's enough of that. And here we've got the bed, which is a double bed from Ikea, um, which is serving me very well, very well for the moment. And we have this um, nice little gold accent uh, of a lamp there, which is on top of a desk that I, well, a um, bedside table that I wanna get rid of. So the idea behind this room was to have minimal black and white vibes but then as I started building it I realized that like the living room I want to incorporate more warmer tones in here um, to make it look um, a bit more just like homely and not completely uh, just black and white so that's why I started bringing in the gold accents um, as well as the greens as you can see have a shelf above the bed, the bed, the bed <laughs> uh, and I've got a few little uh, things there um, for you know, like candles and scents and stuff. And this is one of my favorite parts of the room. So I have a little feature wall, another gallery wall, uh, which I'm quite proud of actually. I didn't want it to be another similar like sort of gallery wall um, where it covered just one side. And um, I saw on Pinterest that there's somebody did a gallery wall over a corner. So I tried to sort of emulate that and then bring warmer tones through the photos as well. So like as you can see, they've got a bit of orange, uh, a camel kind of color, which is a sand dune. Um, and then a floating desk as well, uh, which I've got uh, topped with um, a few diaries that I like to write in um, to keep myself organized. Um, a little snazzy Saint Laurent box, which I basically just keep a random bunch of crap in uh, and uh, a few um, fragrances because I like fragrance bottles. So I've got these two for the moment. This is one that I've been wearing a lot recently, um, which is really nice, Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. Um, which is definitely worth a try if you're looking for a new scent. And then I've got my little dead cactus, which I couldn't look after. Oh my God. 
<laughs> oh, that's so going in the video. It's dead, but I don't know what to do with it, so I'm just leaving it there because it kind of looks cool, but we'll leave it. That's how crap I'm looking at plants. This is why I have fake plants like this one, like Matilda here, because there is no way that I can look up the real plants clearly, um, even if they are cacti, like that's how bad I am. That's probably a reason why I don't have kids uh, just yet. But yeah, so I've got this little corner here which I really like, how it's coming along. And yeah, another part of the room is the uh, little reading corner here which I tried to make. It's just very bare at the moment, but I've got a velvet tub green chair which I got from Wayfair, and then a H&M home little stand uh, shelf for the uh, wall. Um, I've got some books on it, and then a randomly a Japanese teapot. I just bought it because I liked it, um, but I didn't know where to put it in the kitchen because there's no space as you can see, so I just left it there for now. But I want to make a reading corner, so I do want to get a little side table to put there and have books on as well. Um, so that I can read there and during lockdown this thing was really handy because when I was just bored and I was reading I could just sit there and, and just read a nice little book all day uh, which is something that I've done since I was a kid um, reading books is something that I need to get back into actually I haven't done any this year at all so this is the room and that's pretty much everything in here it's quite spacious which I'm very happy about and as you can see another uh, patio door there as well which is a great feature that we have in both of our rooms me and Chris do uh, which is a door that goes on straight onto the balcony um, from here and we both have access to it um, but yeah as I said there's not really much that we do on there sometimes I try and exercise on there or go out and a little sunbathe a little bit but the view's not really worth it from my opinion and uh, but we should have a party there in the summer at some point so watch this space and then yeah another cool thing is you can go from my bedroom to the bathroom and this is the bathroom and this door here connects you to the corridor so this is where my flatmate has access from and then I have the access through this door it's a bit of a weird one I was quite surprised by it when I first saw it as well uh, but it works totally fine and we got used to it now but yeah so we have a shower cabinet and we have the bathtub, so we have two options, which is really cool. And then uh, we've got some mirrors here, which are cabinets. So we've got a cabinet there, and then this is my cabinet that I use, which is organized with all my stuff in there. Um, if you guys want a morning routine video, uh, which I think the trend for that is so long gone, I doubt I'm gonna do one, but if you want one, let me know. Um, and then you've got sink, and then we've got the bougie soap, which is nice. The dart, where we do all the business. And uh, yeah, got a uh, snazzy little towel warmer, which we don't really use, and then back in the corridor. So that's pretty much the flats. So that's basically everything around this flat and the building. Um, we pay 800 pound each for the flat, which for London and for this size is pretty decent, um, which I'm very happy with. So we're quite lucky that we managed to find a space for that price. Um, it is steep still. I mean, you could get something for even bigger than this in Birmingham and for like anywhere else in the UK, it would be much cheaper um, than what we pay. But for London, it's around a decent amount, which I think. So at some point I might do another video where I talk about my budget about living in London, because that's something that I think is so useful for people to know. Uh, moving to London isn't an easy thing to do. And there's so many things and costs that you need to sort of be aware of. And um, so I might go through a video and take you all through everything that I do um, to advise anybody who's looking to move to the city and whatnot. But this area and this building, this location has lots more flats coming through, um, which are pretty similar to this spec. So I definitely think this is a good shout. Um, if you wanna be just outside of London enough um, to be in a suburban area, um, but still being well connected enough so you can get there very quickly, not being too far removed. Um, so this is perfect. But yeah, that's everything from me uh, follow me on instagram at sam's outlook if you don't already uh, it's the same handle as my youtube channel and also follow me on tiktok sam's outlook as well that's a new one that i've started i'm now down with the kids i've got a tiktok channel um, so don't miss um, out on the reels and stuff in the videos and tiktoks that i'll be posting and yeah so stay tuned for the next one and i'll see you later bye